discovered Lagos, the biggest city in Africa. Lagos is Nigeria's largest metropolis and Africa's second most populous, with a population of 15.3 million people in the city proper as of 2022. Lagos is a significant African financial capital and is the economic core of Lagos State and Nigeria at large. Lagos is also among the top 10 fastest growing cities and urban areas in the world. The megacity has Africa's fourth highest GDP and one of the continent's largest and busiest seaports in sub-Saharan Africa. The Lagos metropolitan region is a major educational and cultural center. Lagos was formerly a British crown colony that was part of the United Kingdom's West African settlements until 1874, when it was annexed by the Gold Coast colony, modern Ghana. It was given separate status under a British administrator in 1886, then it was merged with the Protectorate of Southern Nigeria in 1906. When Southern and Northern Nigeria merged, Lagos became the colony and protectorate of Nigeria's capital. The majority of the hinterland was absorbed into the Western Nigeria area in 1954, but the city itself was classified as federal territory. Lagos was named the capital of independent Nigeria in 1960. With the formation of Lagos State in 1967, the metropolis regained control of its hinterland. After 1975, a new national capital, centrally located near Abuja, was built to replace Lagos, which was plagued by slums, pollution and traffic congestion at the time. Stay with us as we explore Lagos, Nigeria's largest city. There are various attractions to see and do in Lagos, as well as reasons why it is Africa's largest city. The Topography of Lagos The city's topography is dominated by a network of islands, sandbars, and lagoons. Lagos, Edo, now joined to the mainland, Ikoi, now attached to Lagos Island, and Victoria, now the point of the Lucky Peninsula, used to be the four main islands. However, due to land reclamation attempts over the years, some of the original principal islands are no longer actual islands. Some of Lagos Islands are connected to each other and to the mainland by a network of bridges. The entire region is low-lying, with Lagos Island's highest point only 22 feet above sea level. Population In 2011, the UN estimated the city's population to be 11.2 million. According to the New York Times, it now has a population of at least 21 million people, surpassing Cairo as Africa's largest metropolis. Lagos is, without a doubt, a heart of one of the world's largest urban regions, regardless of its size or definition. Its population has increased dramatically since 1970, when it was estimated to be at 1.4 million. According to Rice, Lagos accounts for almost a quarter of Nigeria's overall gross domestic output. Lagos, the heart of Nigeria's modern economy, is home to many millionaires, but Rice estimates that two-thirds of the city's residents live in slums. Infrastructural Development Governor Sanwo Alo has made infrastructure rehabilitation a priority of his administration since taking office in May of this year. The governor has commissioned no fewer than 10 infrastructure projects in the previous two months, which has fueled the momentum. The most recent are four highways in the state's Ikoi, Eddie Osa local government area, Thompson Avenue, Milverton, McDonald, and Ladif Jackin Roads were among the rehabilitated and upgraded roads that were commissioned as part of initiatives to regenerate infrastructure across the state. Because of the economic importance of Ikoi as a real estate hub, the governor indicated during the inauguration of the road projects that his government began infrastructural renewal and upgrade, rehabilitation of the roads and drainage projects inside the Axis in July. 2020. The inauguration, according to Sambo Alu, demonstrates his government's commitment to providing adequate infrastructure and improving inhabitants' living conditions. He claimed that the freshly built roads would increase interconnectivity, reduce bottlenecks, and alleviate the Axis's periodic floods. Cost of Living Lagos has an average cost of living of $1,245, which is similar to the global average. It is placed 4,107th out of 9,294 cities in our global ranking and 2nd out of 33 in Nigeria. 
the median after-tax salary is $236, which is sufficient to pay one month's living expenses. In the list of finest places to live in the world, it is ranked 6,338 and the first best city in Nigeria. Lagos is Nigeria's largest metropolis, with a population of 14.9 million people. Living in Lagos is 5.3 times more expensive than the average salary because they are accustomed to a developed nation lifestyle, which is difficult and expensive to maintain in other less developed countries. As a result, the cost of living in Lagos varies greatly between residents and expats. Tourism Lagos, Nigeria's largest city, stretches inland over the Lagos Lagoon from the Gulf of Guinea. The financial core of the city, Victoria Island, is known for its beach resorts, boutiques, and nightlife. The National Museum Lagos, located on Lagos Island to the north, houses cultural relics and handicrafts. Freedom Park, which was formerly a colonial-era prison but is now a prominent site for concerts and other events, is close by. There are numerous outdoor activities to choose from. Kayaking is available at La Campagni Tropicana. Golfing is available at Ikoi Club 1938. And horseback riding is available at Ikeja Saddle Club. With a variety of historic sites and fun activities, including a modern marina, a nearby zoo, and even a children's science center, the town has a youthful, enthusiastic spirit. Visitors can also enjoy the hospitality of some outstanding cafes and eateries while wandering Lagos Old Center. Alternatively, stroll along the waterfront promenade or take a sightseeing boat to see the incredible sea caves and grottos that have put Lagos firmly on the tourism map. Cuisine The Lagos restaurant scene provides something for everyone, whether you're a business traveler or a tourist enthusiast. The variety of restaurants offered will thrill foodies. Diners will have a difficult time picking between the many restaurants available in Lagos, with options ranging from traditional Nigerian food to traditional Thai cuisine. Nigerian cuisine is rich and colorful, with spices and strong chili peppers, and visitors who want a taste of the country's cuisine should try jollof, rice cooked with tomato, onion and pepper, akara, deep-fried bean cakes, banga, a palm fruit-based soup, or moi moi, fried fish, a steamed bean pudding. With a variety of posh, casual, fast food, and street vendor alternatives, eating out in Lagos offers not just variety in ethnic and foreign cuisine, but also pricing and quality. The Victoria and Lagos Islands, as well as the Lucky Peninsula, have the most fashionable and recognized eateries. Nightlife Lagos has firmly established itself as Nigeria's nightlife capital, with pulsing nightclubs, late-night bars, and live music venues. The nightlife scene in the city tends to start late in the evening and last until the sun rises, with most clubs filling up around 11 p.m. Victoria Island and Ikoi are two of Lagos' most popular nightlife locations. There are a couple of wonderful bars on the mainland of Lagos, but they are exclusively for the more daring, as safety is not guaranteed. Pool parties are held at a few upscale hotels and are a terrific way to beat the heat while taking in the Lagos nightlife. Avalowo Road attracts a large number of dining and late night drinkers, while Pat's Place attracts Nigeria's resident expat population. Finally, no trip to Lagos is complete without a stop at the new Africa Shrine, which is a Lagos institution. The original Africa Shrine, owned by Lagos superstar Fela Kadi, was the spiritual home of Afrobeat. After it burned down, Femi Kadi, the musician's son, built the new Africa Shrine to continue the tradition, and he still performs there when he visits town. After visiting Lagos, you would agree with us that the megacity has much to offer both inhabitants and visitors from all over the world. Everything you need in Lagos, from infrastructure development to entertainment, is at your fingertips. For more interesting adventures, stay tuned to Africa Reloaded. For more videos, remember to like, share, and subscribe.